Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Tia and today's Sunday Reset. I am going to be making a pineapple ginger juice as well as cooking some salmon for my dinner and lunch throughout the week. So for this pineapple ginger juice, I've already chopped up some pineapple, lemon, a uh, nice hunk of ginger, and I have some mint. And I'm making this juice specifically because I'm feeling a little inflamed and I think my face is a little puffy and everything. So I'm kind of using this as a good detox. So again, I have pineapple, ginger, lemon, and mint. And I don't think it's gonna make that much. I might dilute it depending on how strong the ginger is. Additionally, I'm making some ginger and lemon shots and I'm making these because the weather cannot decide exactly what it wants to do and how it's going to do it. So I have a lot of ginger and I'm one reason I'm making this because a pound of ginger was $3.89 at Sam's and I wasn't going to pass that up. Then I got this bag of lemon also from Aldi for like two or three dollars and I had some mint left over. So after I juice all of that, I'm actually gonna put it in these ice trays so then I can either put it with hot water or I can defrost them and use them as ginger wellness shots once like I start to feel that little itch or anything coming on. This is also good for like any tummy issues or inflammation you may have. So I'm going to make my pineapple juice first and then I'm gonna make the ginger shots. So let's go ahead and get started. So into the hopper of the normal well juicer, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lemon my mint leaves and then I'll add my pineapple and everything's relatively soft so it doesn't matter the order go ahead and make sure I get that nice hunk of ginger there I really like ginger I like the taste of ginger I like the smell of ginger so it is all going in there and then we'll go ahead and get this a go Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy this type of content, I make it weekly, Sunday resets, clean with me, financial independence, and all the things that go into adulting. So that was relatively easy. I'm gonna go ahead now and make the ginger shots as soon as I pour this out. I wanna make sure I get all the juice. So into my carafe. And I'll probably drink this every morning. But what I didn't mention also is this is good for energy. So a nice little quick cleanse, take care of some inflammation, and then also give me a nice energy boost throughout the week. All right. So there's that. And then for my ginger juice, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything in here, or my ginger shots, I should say, and then I'll fill up these ice trays that I have. So sometimes I'm asked on how I like my Nama well or is it still worth the price after all of these months? And I will say yes, 110%. One, I like knowing what's in my juices and being able to make fresh juice right away. Two, it's convenient for myself and the entire family. Three, I've even made oat milk with this. There's so many things that you can do with it. It is very convenient. It's literally, you put all the ingredients in, and then I can walk away, unload the dishwasher or do something else while it's blending and, and then come back and my juice is complete. Like I'm just talking to you guys right now while this is going, this ginger shot is almost done. I am going to get the larger hopper because I do like to do batch juicing. But right now, even with this hopper, this is A-OK. -okay. So I would say yes, the Nama is definitely worth it. I do not regret this purchase at all and i would continue to use this in the future like there's no if ands or buts about it if something were to happen to this juicer i'm getting a new one like i'm not even joking
These are my ginger shots after they've been frozen. What I'm doing is adding it to a mug with some hot water. I'm gonna give that a stir and I'm gonna drink it just as you would a hot tea or anything like a Theraflu or anything like that. I will say this is a lot spicier than what I thought it was gonna be, but it's nothing that's not intolerable. It's still tasty. You can taste the lemon and the mint in it. So I highly recommend these. And like I said before, like I could defrost these and just use them as a ginger shot also. You don't have to put it in hot water. You can just let it sit in a cup until it comes to like room temperature or cold and drink it just like the ones you buy in the grocery store. All right, so in addition to juicing, I'm also making some salmon and zucchini as, long as, as well as some steamed rice. I got this salmon from Aldi and it was $11.76, which I think is a decent price for a filet of salmon, skin still on. Uh, this is a product of Chile, if anyone cares, but it was at Aldi. I would say other than Costco or Sam's where you can get like the filets in bulk size, Aldi's probably the most reasonable price, like seafood filets that you're gonna find out there. Uh, you can go to a Wegmans or you can go to a Publix or anything, but you are gonna pay more. Just wanna let you know. Then I also got the zucchini and the zucchini was on sale, I think for like $1.79 and they are fairly large. I love a good grilled zucchini. So salmon zucchini and steamed rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this zucchini. And I'm gonna put this in the Ninja Air Fryer Foodie for however long the thermometer says it needs to cook. We have this. I'm gonna stick this into the thickest part. And in it goes. And the desired temp is 165. I'll be back. Before I go, I wanted to let you guys know how this juice is and we'll see if I need to dilute it. It does not smell that gingery. That is perfect. It's like bitter from the lemon, sweet from the pineapple, and a little bit of spice from the ginger. I don't taste the mint at all. This is good. Oh, I was not expecting that. This is good. Pleasantly surprised, very happy. So I'll see you guys on next week's Sunday Reset. I hope you have a great week and don't forget to stay wonderful. That's good too. <laughs>